Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Bones Brigade portrait. This is a skater piece of artwork. I really like the old school skater stuff. All the old stickers you used to get. There's some really, really cool artwork. So we're gonna be doing this piece today that's on the screen. We're gonna transfer this across and then put it onto this canvas that I've got here. Now this canvas is a piece of thrift shop artwork. I picked it up a while back for five pounds and I thought this would be perfect for this image. We've got a silhouette piece here. We're gonna drop some skateboarders doing some tricks and just size that up so it looks like that's in the distance. And then we're gonna do the Bones Brigade text in the skyline just here, just to finish that off. The actual school artwork, we're gonna tweak it and make the school look more realistic. As this is just like a black outlined skull, we're gonna add some textures and make this really pop. We've got the tears on this as well, so we're gonna make them look more realistic coming around on here so it looks torn out. We'll do some drop shadows, so it really makes like the canvases ripped through. So that's what's on the cards today. The brushes that I'm gonna use, I'll be using the Creos PS290. Great brush for coverage. We've got the fan cap so we can get big passes on that and get the paint down. And then for all the detail work, I'm gonna go in with the Iwata HP SB Plus, which is a 0.2 side feed. Great for detail. Nice, comfortable brush for working when you work in long periods of time. So we're gonna use that for the detailed parts on this. The paint that we're gonna use, I'm gonna be dropping a solvent base I've got a little bit of white solvent mixed up left over, so we're just gonna smash a bit of that down just to seal this canvas off with a bit of solvent, and then we're gonna just top it off with some white base over the top of that with the acrylic high flow, and then going with the golden range to get this picture finished. So I shall see you in the first step. I'll get the projector set up, and you'll just see me sizing the image up, and we'll get this first piece done. See you in a bit, guys. a little talk through on what I've done to get it to this stage. Now, I've basically got a piece of white paper on roll, artist paper, it's just cheap paper, nice and thin, nothing fancy, it's like copy paper, but on a bigger roll. And I've cut a piece out, I stuck it to the canvas, and I've got the projector set up just here, projected it up, and you've seen in that last time lapse that you could see the projection, and I went round and just penciled round the actual image, move this piece of paper onto a cut mat, and then we've just cut the center section out, so we can use this later on to drop over the artwork, and we can drop the drop shadows off this so we don't get any overspray. So that's a piece that we can use later. Now to stick this back onto the actual canvas, so none of this lifts up, as you can see, that's nice and tight to the canvas all the way around, so you're not gonna get any overspray underneath that. Nice little simple trick. If you was working on a steel, if you had a piece of steel behind this, you could use magnets, and you could pull a magnet on this, and it would just pull that nice and tight. But if you've not got that, get yourself some masking tape, and then just roll it back on itself, like that and you create yourself a little piece of double-sided low-tack masking. And I've gone round and basically, as you can see there, I've done that, but on the other side, all the way around these little pieces, and it just bonds that to the canvas. So nice and easy technique, guys. Before I put this paper on, I gave the canvas a wipe down with panel wipe, because this is a second-hand canvas. It's been in someone's house there's polish and there's all sorts flying around when people are dusting, polishing, wiping things down. You don't know what this has been wiped down with in the past. So I gave it some panel wipe, cleans that piece of image down where we're gonna work from, just so our paints will go on there nice and easy and you won't get any like fry ups if there's any like silicon type polishes or anything on this canvas, that's all been cleaned off. So the next stage on this, I'll get the PS290, we'll get some white base coat on this, we'll white it all out, let that dry off. I've got the projector set up just here, so it's all set up on the throw to get the same image across straight away on there, and then we can go in and just pencil round really lightly. Some of the details in the school, 
where the eyes are, the mouth is, the hands that are tearing through and a bit around this tear and then we can start doing the detailed side on the airbrushing. So I'll see you in the next step. through so we've got the skull complete we've done the tear on that nice and simple just build the layers up we had a mask around that so I had no worry about any overspray going over these sides so that all contains it in one area I just worked the skull looking across at the reference adding a few tweaks of my own we've done some little tears on the actual original and that tears black to the black so I've just done the little phrase around the edge to make as though it's tearing out the canvas Highlighted over the tops of the school with a bit, bit of paint pen just to sharpen things up and just sort of mirror matched it across and then put my own little tweak on there as well. So that's the school in. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to do some silhouette, black silhouettes in this bottom piece here of some skateboarders doing some tricks and then we'll drop a bit of text across here and we'll call that one done. So I'll stick you in another time lapse. Just buzz these couple of bits out, we'll get the text in and we'll wrap that one up guys. See you in a bit. There you go, there's the finished picture. That's all complete now. You see me in them time lapses. I just traced across off the laptop screen with transfer paper and got the outline of these silhouettes, chopped them out, and we've just gone with a black. So that sets them back in that sunset there. You've got the palm trees. We've got the torn out piece with the skull, and then you've got the Bones Brigade text at the top just to finish that picture off. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I just want to say a big warm welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you for all the comments, guys. And yeah, that's the finished picture. And I'll see you lot in the next one. Thanks for watching.